as she says what she saw isn't what she's experienced over the years, peacefully protesting at the Capitol, including this past summer, saying people yesterday were treated with what she calls grace by law enforcement. This side-by-side -side video, a stark contrast, two different responses within the nation's capital. We were met with, it seemed like, the National Guard and all of the uh, factions of law enforcement had already been activated when we showed up. They were standing there like hundreds strong in riot gear, prepared for us. They were very forceful and aggressive. That is not what we saw yesterday. BLM Executive Director T. Sheree Dickerson says she's been arrested for civil disobedience multiple times in D.C. over the years while peacefully protesting for human rights and against racial injustice. We are being detained. An outcome for Dickerson and many others. Anytime that there are protests um, that include black, indigenous, brown, uh, folk, marginalized people, um, the response is always different. President-elect Joe Biden addressing the issue. No one can tell me that if had been a group of Black Lives Matter protesting yesterday, there wouldn't have been, they wouldn't have been treated very, very differently than the mob of thugs that stormed the Capitol. President Trump supporter Carrie Romaser, who I spoke with yesterday, was at the Capitol with her friends. It was meant to be all things peaceful. All horrified that things turned violent, saying the events that unfolded aren't a reflection of everyone who was there. We're devastated by the events all of us are. It doesn't matter where our political allegiance lies. All four of us are people that love people and... Dickerson agreeing the day was unfortunate, hoping lessons stem from it. We did not want to witness another day where people are saying it's one of the worst days or monumental days of hate, um, degradation and embarrassment and shame for this United States. But what we're wanting to say is that we would hope that when something happens like that, to just one person of color, that it, you'd just be just as upset and just as aboard about that loss of life and about the type of destruction that happens towards us as you are about a structure. Portia Riley, KOCO 5 News.